In this video, I'm going to show you how to export case-by-case -case dictionary statistics from WordStat. An example of when this would come in handy is when analyzing the sentiment of survey responses or reviews on a case-by-case -case basis. Prior to opening WordStat, we've created our project in QDA Miner. Our project contains just over 30,000 hotel reviews. We want the sentiment for each review, not for the entire data set as a whole. Go to the Analyze menu at the top of the screen and select Content Analysis to access WordStat. Choose the variable to analyze. In this case, it's the review. And we only need a descriptive analysis. Select OK. I've created a very simplistic sentiment dictionary tailored to the hotel industry containing two categories, positive and negative words. For our analysis, we don't need to know the details of which positive or negative words are used in each case. We're interested in analyzing on the category level, how many positive and how many negative words are used in each case. So we'll set the dictionary at level 1. We could set the dictionary at level 2 and have a frequency on an item level, but for our situation this would create too many variables and we don't need that much detail, so we'll continue at the category level. Let's go to the frequencies page. Here we see the positive and negative frequencies for the entire data set. From here, click the Export Data or Categorization Model button and choose the first option, Export Data Matrix. We have two destination options. You can append to the current data file, which will add two new variables, positive and negative, to your QDA Miner project, or you can create a new data file. This is useful if you want to do further analysis outside the system. In this case, we'll choose the current data file and go back to QDA Miner for further analysis. Now we have to choose the kind of data to append. Before we do this, I want to draw your attention to the Preview button. This is a great way to see the data before you append it. The options are Keyword Frequency, Case Occurrence, Percentage of all words, and the TF IDF weighting. The case occurrence option offers a number of variable type possibilities. You have multiple dichotomous variables, multiple polynomial variables multiple string variables, and a single compound string. We'll choose keyword frequency. This gives us the number of positive and negative words associated with each category. You can choose the keyword variable name or create a prefix for the variable name. We'll continue with keyword. At this point, if you were creating a new data file, you could attach other variables. This option is not relevant if you're appending data as new variables in your QDA Miner project. Select OK. A dialog box appears letting you know that two variables will be added. Select Yes. This takes a moment to process. Let's leave WordStat and go back to QDA Miner. And you can see that two new sentiment variables, negative and positive, have been added to each case. 